So, many of you noticed, where did my money go? I used to have few millions, but out of nowhere I was down to zero. Well actually, I was just bored, so I set myself a goal. A goal to see how long it takes me from zero handlers to 500k handlers. This video will show you all the stats and all the tips and tricks how I did it. So first you might be asking, how did I get rid of the money? Well, it took me about 30 minutes and actually, I went to the store and I kept buying and selling automats until I reached zero. Actually even crashed my game. But yeah, that's the way how I reached zero dollars. Okay, now let's get into the interesting stuff. Here are my stats before the challenge and on top you can see I have zero dollars. So this is taken before the challenge even started. And those are the stats once I reached 500k handlers. So let's talk about it. It took me 177 in-game hours according to Steam, which is 7.3 days of pure playtime. In real life it took me 912 hours, which is 38 days. So that makes average playtime per day around 5.2 hours. During this time I got 1637 kills and died 809 times. Assists are not included in these numbers. So this makes average of 9.2 kills per hour. Most of the time I played solo versus trios, but of course there were some duos, trios and randoms as well. So because I was playing mostly solo, I extracted 120 times with the one bounty token, 113 times with the two bounty tokens, only 3 times with 3 bounty tokens, and 50 times with 4 bounty tokens. Keep in mind that every boss drops 2 bounty tokens, but as a solo you can carry only one per boss. So if there is 2 bosses per map, you can get max 2 tokens per match as a solo, or 4 tokens per match as a duo or trio. I also killed 7134 monsters, 246 bosses, and got 50 hunters to level 50. I wiped 321 teams, which probably includes solos, duos and trios. And pretty interesting, my total bounty is 680,042. But there are other money sources that are not considered bounty, like dark tribute, or challenges, and looting money in-game. With those included in the number, I would say I got close to 1 million handlers, but of course I didn't win all of those games and spent some money for hunters and equipment. So now let me tell you all the tips and tricks what I did to make more money. So step number one, you wanna have as many hunter slots as possible. The more, the better, because the more hunters you can recruit. Step number two, after every single game you play, you go to recruit hunter, get a free hunter, and basically you do this after every game. So you finish your game, you go to recruit again, free reshuffle, get a free hunter, and here we go. By doing this you will always save money on buying hunters and the equipment. The only thing you will need to buy every game is your consumables and tools, but some free hunters come with a medkit or knife, so you can take that and save some money with that. Step number 3. Adjust your hunter. Well, some hunters come with loadout like this, so instead of playing Romero and hand crossbow, I try to find some contraband weapon in my inventory, so look, I have a chain pistol, so I'm gonna take the chain pistol, and by this I save more money. During the challenge I was playing these tools and these consumables. Together they are nice combo and it's all you need to be honest. And it's very cheap, for $125. Step number 4, and this one is very important. So what are those icons here next to your name? The first bounty extraction. So every day, the first bounty you extract on the hunter, you get bonus to XP and to handlers. On the bottom you can see 20% boost to handlers and in mission. Which means that if you successfully extract, like with this hunter, you're gonna have this icon here. And what you wanna do is, you wanna play new hunter and leave this one for tomorrow. Because tomorrow, this is gonna reset, and if you play the hunter again tomorrow, the bonus will apply. So after every game, switch to the new hunter that doesn't have this extraction bonus of the day. And you can guarantee yourself 20% boost for handlers. Step number 5 is, try to play some solos or maybe duos against trios. Because if you play as a trio against trios and you wanna make money, well, you don't get much. You get between 75 to 150 per boss token. But that changes a lot when you play solo, you can get up to 10 times more if you play the nightmap wildcard contract as a solo. Or only if you play duos against trios, you get double or triple the amount of bounty as you would get in a trio. And last, step number 6 is something I need to show you in game. And it's about looting hunters, looting saddlebags and trying to get more money from looting in game. So I'm gonna show you this loadout that I played before and yeah, let's get into the game, solo against trio to get most money and yeah. Of course, it's good to scavenge around to find some money bags or cash registers, but if you loot those items, 
as you can see here you need to extract to keep the money so if you loot 1000 or 500 or how much you want you can extract any time to keep those money because if you die you lose those money remember that every clue you take is 50 dollars and those 50 dollars if you die you will keep them anyway because they don't count here they count as a bounty so even if you die you keep those 50 dollars it's also very worth to check watch towers and towers on your way because they can spawn uppercut it's like 400 dollars and every watchtower, the big one, has a cash spawn. The cash can spawn here, so that's also free money sometimes. Unluckily, this tower didn't have anything, but yeah, it's it's worth checking out. Oh, we traded. Okay, and now full game uncut where I'm not gonna try to explain anything. I'll just show you some gameplay tricks, how to win game. Hopefully you understand the mechanics, how to loot for money. But yeah. Let's play like a solo against Trio, get some money, so obviously the first thing you wanna do is like rush the clues, you wanna get the $50 per clue, the more clues the better, so when it's double boss you can get, you know, 6 clues, easy money. And based on the cutout, okay, I guess I'll, I could try to get a bunch of double clue. Send Blanchet, healing and port, two clues spawn every single time. But there's a chance I pick up the Blanchet clue and it's gonna gray out. But based on the cutout, well, the boss cannot be pitching, it cannot be still water, it's gonna be somewhere up here. There could be also people in Blanchet. Maybe I'll try to avoid the emulator. Because you actually don't get money for killing AI, only for killing bosses, getting clues. Vanishing and stuff, like killing the boss, I mean. So, you don't need to like kill AI for money, you only kill the bosses for money. Explosion in Cyprus, yeah. Okay, boss is here. I don't know. But I had it. Space. Look, there's one toolbox. So in case I have a fight here, I know where I can resupply. Okay. And now, if you see this cutout... Another one. If you see this cutout, you can take dub double clue, of course. But if you cannot take planchet clue... If you take two clues already, it's most likely gonna be Darrow, Port or Reynard, I don't think. Actually, it could be anywhere in this one. It could be anywhere in this cutout. But my guess is like Darrow, Reynard maybe. Could be Alice maybe. Yeah, Alice. Yeah, so we got three clues, $150. And now let's go to Alice farm. This watchtower, which I could check for money. But if you play the exact same that as me, two with shots and two regents, uh, don't use the regents until you get into fight, because they're only 5 minutes each, so that's 10 minutes in total. There is no point using those. Or you can also collect the gated traps for money. You collected the quest lines, it gives you money instead. But yeah, weak with shot and weak regen, it's actually a good combo because. Quick with shot does 75 HP, so you will not be full HP. But if you combine those two, you can regen the rest, you know. And there's people there. Oh, I saw them actually, crossing the bush. Someone is on the boss as well. Shotgun. Oh, they're actually coming here. I hope they didn't see me. I think they did. Okay, well, that's unlucky. Guess I think they are Okay, I need to reposition. 
But look, here I'm missing the small bar. So I'm gonna use the regen to regen the rest. Okay, I think it was resing or something. No, not one rest. Frag bomb, nice. Check for cash, no cash. Ooh, that's crack. Oh, there is actually cash here as well. I didn't even know about this one. I mean, oh look, 150. So now I could leave this game with how much? Almost like $500. It's already like triple the profit of the cost of the loadout I had. Yeah, I'll try to push to the White House, I think. Way better cover. There we go. I think they are us though. Under a walkway. I saw her crouch there. I don't, I don't think she rests the lonely hole. There we go. So that's one tree or dead. And now before I loot them, I'm gonna check my consumables. So medkits is full. I got two with shots and one frag bomb, which means one slot is missing. So if I was about to loot 100 now, I would have loot my consumable to fill the slot. But instead, I can go back to or here on the supply point actually. That's closer. I can get my consumable from there. And then when I come back to loot. From all three players, from all three players, I will be able to loot money, and there is always a chance to get 1,000 or you know, 500. So it's definitely worth doing. Also, that's why Vulture can be good. After a big fight, you know, maybe someone looted the hunter. Vulture can allow you to loot them again if it's already been looted by other players. So if you can find every single body on the match, you can loot so much money. If you get bit lucky. Oh yeah, look, I'm gonna get my consumable. There we go, so all four slots are filled. These slots, you cannot loot like new tools, you can only resupply the tools you have. So that's why I took medkit. If you took like flare pistol or flare gun and you use it, then, you know, you would actually not be able to loot money anymore. Unless you make it full again. That's why I took only medkit. Of course you can take tomahawk as well, but make sure to pick it up, you know. I'm gonna go loot now, see how much I make. Maybe I'll loot 1000 extract. If not, then I'll progress for the boss. In the meantime, you know, they might fight each other. It might be one team remaining. Label or something. Crack sniper. I think I'll take that one. Fifty dollars. How much from this one? Fifty again. And this one. Parks pistol, nice. For more ammo. Under fifty. Yeah, so now I could already extract with almost $500. Actually, I have over $500. I took three clues, right? So that's $150 extra. Yeah, so that's almost like $700. And that's already like pretty big profit, you know? If the loadout cost is $125, that's a big profit. But you can go risk it for the bounty. 
or maybe double or even the triple the amount, amount that I have right now. Just again. I'm solo against trio. So if I extract with a single bounty. You don't hit that one. My bonus is gonna be a lot. So maybe I can see them on the roof here. Actually, a bit, I get a bit far away, so when I scan, they don't see me. Okay, they probably scanned now. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to look for medkit instead of healing myself. Just, that's another charge, you know, I would have used. Oh, here's medkit. I'm gonna shoot this one. Because they are running? Yeah, I think they are running. I don't have stamina. Oh, they're coming for me actually. She rest? Oh. <laughs> I think she rest as well. At least they wanna fight me. Dodge moves in uppercut. Oh. I think they are running now, no? <laughs> no, one is close. I don't wanna repick this some angle, but there is not many options I have. My region. Yes, he has more than you can want at me. Oh, oh should I pick that? Okay. I have time, I can regen if they don't push. Not gonna waste my, you know, charge. This guy cannot get rest anyway, he's in open. I know that red is one type to body shot. I mean, they're both, no? I think I killed the other one as well. They both could be one type to body shot. If I just get close a bit. Hmm, this one isn't. I think they shot the cage. Does she have no bullets? But this one is one tap for sure.
Oh my god, and I can't want up here. There we go, there is the one tap. Yeah, so no, now look. Again, I'm missing one consumable. So now the best choice would be, you know, go to resupply. There is probably no one else. I can resupply my consumable and come back, loot them all for money, all free. Maybe I can also check in Alice, because they had a fight there. Loot some more bodies. But because I don't have Vulture, I don't think I'll be able to loot, because they probably looted them all. But yeah. This is what I used to do every game, or most of the games if I wasn't lazy, to actually make money. Just like this, you maximize your money from looting hunters. Of course, you play solo against trio, you know, with serpent. There is always like games, even if you w cannot win fights, there is always games where you kill the boss, or there is two teams fighting. You can serpent the bounty and run away. Like 99% of the time, they won't chase you because they'll be busy fighting. And you can get free, like, $1,000 with that. And to be honest, I those games quite often. Maybe I could do a video where <laughs> I'm gonna win every game without killing a single player to show you. Because really, if it's double boss, many times you spawn on the boss, you kill the boss, no one comes in, you can just extract safely. And if it's single boss, people usually fight. You wait with the serpent, serpent the bounty and run away. They won't chase you. Dodge precision. I'll actually take that one. I look 75. Down and king. 200. I forgot about this. Plus uppercut. Let's see if I can find some bodies. See if they are looted. Oh, look. They probably looted them. Like, why wouldn't they, right? They are actually burned. Okay. Well, let's go extract and let's see how much money we made. That's, by the way, also like uppercut and dodge precision. That's over $1,000 as well. It's like 1200 something. 800 money from looting plus one another 1000 from actually the bounty so yeah this match i got 2000 dollars but yeah let's see the exact numbers in lobby okay so we extracted and i just remember we get 20 percent extra money because it's the first extra extraction of the day for this hunter so look you see there is the first extraction 20 percent bonus so i made 2173 900 from the bounty and 911 from looting and stuff, I guess. Plus, you need to think about like 1200 for the weapons I looted, like dodge, P, and uppercut. So we made over $3,000 in one game, which is pretty insane. Look, there is the bounty as well for this. Now that I won a match, of course, I'm gonna go to recruit hunter, free reshuffle, and get a new one, and play different hunters. And this one's I'll play tomorrow when the bonus reset. So, yes, this is how I made 500k in seven days and yeah thanks for watching but wait at the end of the video let's open the rt bit maybe we'll get the bad hand live on stream maybe not wow